Water rates are going up in Lock Haven. Today is Memorial Day, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Showers and thunderstorms today. Some storms could be severe or high in the mid-70s. State police have released the name of the man who was killed in a motorcycle accident at the top of the Bald Eagle Mountain near Williamsport Friday. 74-year-old David Nangle of Painted Post, New York, was traveling south on Route 15 and negotiating a right curve when he struck a guardrail. The impact threw him from his motorcycle to the side of the road. He died of injuries at the scene. Nangle was with a group of motorcyclists that were heading to Washington, D.C. for a Memorial Day weekend event. The accident closed both the north and southbound lanes of Route 15 for several hours. Bail has been set at $2.1 million for a state college man accused of possessing child pornography. Police allege 28-year-old William Welsh had 41 videos and 32 photos of the child sex abuse of young boys. He's been charged with 73 felony counts of child pornography and 73 felony counts of criminal use of a communication facility. Water rates are going up for those served by the city of Lock Haven. Officials announced they filed a tariff with the PUC for the increases. The money will address operational challenges and fund repairs at the reservoirs. The average residential customer will see rates increase by 8.4 percent, while the rates for commercial customers will go up 53 percent. A Center County judge has dismissed a challenge regarding mail-in ballots from the primary election. The challenge was for accepting mail-in ballots that were improperly dated. The judge dismissed the challenge because the petition was submitted after the filing deadline. The suit argued 95 ballots accepted by the Board of Elections were invalid for violating state law on how ballots were to be dated. A Hughesville man has once again been selected as an officiant to the U.S. Olympic track and field team trials in Oregon. This will be Mark Heckel's sixth turn at officiating for the organization. He told the Sun Gazette he's been officiating for roughly 40 years and has been to three world championships. Dr. Oscar Nade, the former superintendent of the Williamsport Area School District, has released a book, A School Man's Journey Traces a Critical Time for Public Education and the School District from the 1950s through the mid-1990s. He'll discuss his book Friday evening from 6 until 8 p.m. at the Auto Bookstore in downtown Williamsport. On Friday, DCNR announced the opening of the North Central Regional ATV Trail for the 2024 riding season. The trail will remain open until Sunday, September 29th. The 650-mile ATV trail travels through parts of Clinton, Lycoming, Potter, and Tioga counties. Little Scandinavia may be permanent at SCI Chester. State lawmakers are calling for permanent funding for the special unit at the prison that gives prisoners more independence. It offers a community-oriented environment and access to regular life activities. The model better prepares prisoners to return to the outside world. Pennsylvania has joined 29 other states in a lawsuit against Live Nation and Ticketmaster, accusing them of monopolizing live entertainment and engaging in anti-competitive practices. And Governor Josh Shapiro has ordered U.S. and Commonwealth flags to fly at half-staff in observance of Memorial Day to honor our nation's fallen heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.